Hey, Pastor Joe here. It's Tuesday. I'm at our Magnolia campus today. In fact, I'm back in the fellowship hall. Uh, but just want to share a couple things on this Tuesday e-blast with you. First of all, praise the Lord. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, getting a lot of rain across the state. Always needed in the state of Texas that we get some rain. We praise the Lord for that. Uh, also, you know, I read an article yesterday that's talking about the COVID-19 numbers in the state of Texas. There's a, da a dashboard that you can go to on the internet and see how everything's going statewide. But well, we had zero deaths since May 12th regarding covid 19 and the last one was uh was just where two people passed away during a short period of time as well so we never want to see anyone have to suffer the crisis of COVID-19 but praise the Lord that those numbers are changing radically it's time to come on back to church if you haven't been every week we're seeing more and more people come back you know here and there and here and there and as well more and more visitors so come on be a part of what God's doing Believers Fellowship is an exciting church with awesome people amen uh, we've been doing a series started back in Easter uh, on uh, knowing God in that series we've been talking about how in the Old Testament it mentions a passage where that the people of God in Israel, and, and as they were wandering in the wilderness, they saw the, the works of God. But then there's a little verse that says, but Moses knew the ways of God. So we've been talking about how God works in our life, understanding how he works, understanding the importance of our relationship with him. It's not just an introduction. Thank you for saving me. I got my ticket to heaven, and that's the end. No, knowing God is a lifelong journey uh, for the child of God. We have this heavenly father who loves us greatly who has purpose and provision and plan for our life. And we should be every day seeking to know him on a deeper and more intimate level than we have the day before. So we've been doing this as a series to help us understand how we can really know God. Uh, this last Sunday, we talked about the ways of God, how God's, that Moses knew his ways and how that worked and, and the journey that we're on with God in, in, in his way for our life and how that God uses situations. And if we don't learn how to discern the, the road, so to say, the way that we're on, uh, we're going to be living in a lot of doubt and a lot of misery. A lot of people have turned around and, and walked away in bitterness even from the Lord. So go back and listen to that if you haven't listened to it. But more importantly, come this Sunday or tune in this Sunday if you're not part of our, our, our regular worship services. Because I know we have a lot of people that just come in and watch us on Sunday and aren't part of the Believer's Fellowship family. But either way, tune in Sunday. Be here, preferably, to hear this message, which is the last in the series, part seven, where we're talking about the ways of God and knowing God and how God uses people, yeah, people, to draw us into a deeper relationship with him and also with each other. In fact, I'm taking the word of God and I'm going into the New Testament. We're going to look at seven unique brothers. And this is it's in the context of brother or sister. Uh, seven unique brothers in the word of God that God references and God speaks to us about. And he tells us how to relate one to another so as to glorify him, so as to know each other better and so as to know him more. Remember John 17, Jesus had that great prayer about God make us all one, that the Holy Spirit would work in our lives to, to unify our hearts. Uh, that's God's will for your life and for my life is that we know each other really deeply as well as we want to know him even. You know, we even talk about the greatest commandment is to love God with your heart, your mind, your soul, your body, your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Well, we're going to talk about that neighbor part in, in, in regard, especially to Christians. And, you know, there's some Christians that are just easy as as it is as, as simple to get along with and those are the people that are usually like you i mean I, people like me are easy for me to get along with uh but then there's some odd brothers and there's some weird brothers and there's some weak brothers and there's some unruly brothers the bible mentions all these different brothers so we're going to look at that and relate it back to the body of christ and then how paul brings to the corinthian church an understanding hey even when we receive communion together we needed to be discerning the body of christ and what it represents in forgiveness of God towards us, of us towards others, and how we can glorify God together in receiving communion. So you don't miss Sunday. That message, along with communion service itself, is going to provide a great, great, glorious Sunday. So I'm already excited about it. I've been working hard in preparation for that sermon. I remind you of that also. We have our marriage conference coming up. It will be the last day of September and the first, I believe, two days in October. It's a three-day event. It'll be taking place in Kerrville up in the hill country at the Wild Ranch Resort uh, Hotel there. So uh, put that down and mark the date. I'll be putting some more in the email itself about that. Also, the pictures that were taken Mother's Day, they're going up this week. We had some technical difficulties with being get the whole file loaded. It was somehow trying to minimize and 
Whenever those f picture files are minimized, you don't get the clarity and the crispness that we that they were taken in. So we're getting that all worked out Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning. Hopefully that'll all be out there and we'll, I'll shoot you a note to remind you that they're available. And those who were here would receive the picture. You got a little QR code. You can check out on any time during the next few days and see if yours is up as yet. So anyway, be praying for that. Uh, we get through all that and take care of that uh, in, a, in a diligent way. I love you. I'm excited about this week. Let's praise God together. Let's believe God and let's love each other as we love ourselves. Amen. God bless you.